Discover the exquisite beauty of Islam with our exclusive poster collection showcasing the 99 names of Allah. Each poster meticulously presents the Arabic name, pronunciation and English translation, embodying the essence of our Creator. Elevate your surroundings with these high-quality designs that not only serve as art, but also offer a glimpse into the profound beauty of Islamic culture. Immerse yourself in the collection and unveil the magnificence of the 99 names. Links in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, an absolutely viral video has surfaced again of Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni. In this video, she discusses why supposedly Islam and Europe are not compatible. I can't wait. I'm sure this video will be very, very educational. Guys, before we jump into the video, do me the favor. If you enjoy my work, leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out the links in the description box. We have brand new merch. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. I think there is a problem of compatibility between the culture of Islam or a certain interpretation of the culture of Islam e i, i diritti e i valori della nostra civiltà. A me non sfugge che la gran parte dei centri culturali islamici in Italia sono finanziati dall'Arabia Saudita e l'Arabia Saudita è una nazione che a casa sua applica la sharia e sharia significa lapidazione per l'adulterio, pena di morte per apostasia, pena di morte per omosessualità. Credo che queste questioni vadano poste, che non vuol dire generalizzare sull'Islam, vuol dire porre il problema che c'è in atto un processo di islamizzazione dell'Europa che è molto distante dai valori della nostra civiltà. So as I said in the beginning, this video went absolutely viral. I don't really understand why, because it is always the same narrative over and over again. Islam has no place in Europe. Can't you see? Islam has no history in Europe other than violence. We freed ourselves from the evil, evil Muslims. We shunned the Ottomans from Austria down over the Balkan back to Turkey. And in Spain, we had the Reconquista. Our forefathers returned to Christianity and they saved us from this absolutely barbaric Sharia. It is always the same narrative. Nobody ever stops and reflects. But this video truly gives away what the core issue is. If you look what she has an issue with, she's talking about the Sharia. And now within the Sharia, Giorgia Meloni says, you have laws against adultery, against apostasy and against Sexuality. So the first question that arises for me here is, what culture are we speaking about? She is an Italian, she's a Roman Catholic, and she talks about laws against apostasy, against homosexuality and adultery. Those are your laws. If you look into the Roman Catholic Church, all of those things have been persecuted by the church. And this is what then led to secularism. However, still to this very day, Italians will say that they are proud Christians, that they are proud Catholics. So why are you against something that is being enforced by Sharia law, which is found within your own religion? So therefore, the second question arises. Are you truly Christians? Because if you were, you wouldn't have any issues with those laws. So therefore, by default, we have to assume that you are not a Christian, but that you are a secularist, a liberal, a modernist, a technocrat, etc., etc., you name it, like any other European country. And this is why this is a false dialectic. They are speaking about Islamic values that have no place in Europe. Which Europe? Modernist Europe? Yes, that is true, because back in the day, the Islamic rules would have agreed with the European Christian values. There was no issue whatsoever whatsoever back in the day. But this is really what it boils down to in this day and age, in this day and age of disbelief. Those people, those politicians, those secularists, they're really advocating for homosexuality, for adultery and for apostasy. Don't you understand? Those values they see as intrinsically European, as intrinsically Western. They see them as good. Yes, we have the right for adultery, we have the right to apostasy, we have the right to LGBT 
Turkey, etc., you name it. Those are all European values and Islam is absolutely incompatible with that. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Islam is not compatible with those values. However, Christianity is not either. And this is why you see this degradation, degeneration within the West. Because the West has abandoned their church. Yet again, I do not agree with the Trinity. I do not agree with the church, let alone with the Catholic Church. However, letting go of religion altogether in the West has led to the situation that we find ourselves in right now. Divorce rates, suicide rates, drug addiction and whatnot, everything is skyrocketing. Why? Because people lost faith in God. People don't believe in God. Atheism is on the rise in Europe and your societies are turning to absolute circuses. But anyways, man, I should stop rambling because they won't get it anyways. It is like in the Bible when Jesus, may peace be upon him, says you're throwing pearls in front of swine. They won't appreciate it anyways. And moreover, like we find in the Quran, it is not the eyes, it's the hearts that are blind. You can tell them over and over again. Listen, guys, liberalism, secularism is destroying you. You have to return to God. You abandoned everything that is holy, everything that is worth living for. You have no family values at all. All anymore. A society full of fornication, full of homosexuality, etc., etc. But they are so far removed now from what is good and from what is righteous that they are fighting for European values which imply adultery. Man, this is so insane. No Christian would ever stand for this. A government that is ruling over you and is fighting for your rights to commit adultery. So this is truly a sick society that has fallen prey to their own desires. They want to eat pork, they want to drink alcohol, they want to fornicate, etc, etc, etc. And therefore Islam obviously stands in direct opposition to this. However, Islam is the medicine. They do not see that anymore. They are so sick, their hearts are so polluted that they can't even recognize the medicine when it's right in front of them. Islam is calling you back to the worship of one God. The first step is to understand that you've been worshiping in the past, because now you're not really Christians anymore, you've been worshiping Mother Mary, you've been worshiping the Trinity, you've been worshiping a Jewish man, you've been worshiping all kinds of saints additional to God. So the first step is of course to abandon all of that stuff and return to the worship of one God, to redirect your focus onto one God alone. And from there the rest follows. Then your eyes will be opened, your hearts will be opened and you will understand how far you have fallen. If you keep on worshipping your own desires, Europe will fall for sure. You have neo-nationalists now, right-wingers, and they're celebrating this woman. First and foremost, a woman shouldn't even be in that leading position. This makes no sense whatsoever. This is not a woman's job to be a prime minister. However, they are applauding her because she's repeating the same old stuff over and over again. Islam has no place in Europe. <laughs> Those are not our European values. Islam out of Europe. The West has long fallen, man. It has been a steady degradation. It's exactly like in the end of the Roman Empire. Give them bread and circuses. Entertain those peasants. Ha ha ha! And the people are gobbling it up, man. They're eating white sugary bread. They're watching circuses. They are distracted. Exactly the same thing is happening to you. And meanwhile, your empire is falling. Why is it falling? Because it is not standing on firm, solid ground. You're speaking about European values. I asked you a billion times, which are those? You have none. There are no European values. There are only European desires. All right, guys, this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box, guys. Check out the brand new merch. This is definitely the best way to support Bobby's perspective and at the same time beautify your home. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.